Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you want to support me more, go follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash retromariotwitch. And also, if you want to, you can become a member here on the YouTube. But as always, I will see my Retronians in the next video. You got field work again, cadet? Yeah, I know. It sucks in this blistering heat. But everyone has to do it. So suck it up. Here, I got you a water. Well, if you don't want to die from dehydration, I suggest you drink it. And plus, after you can get off work and whatever you're doing here, there is a hot springs nearby. You can relax your body there after you're done here. I'm here to look out for y'all. All of you. As your leading commander, I suggest you listen to what I have to say to you. These machines are very new to us. I understand that to you all. I'm trying to wrap my mind around them as well. They're very confusing to learn, but... That's the one thing we have to do. Learn and adapt. It's going to be difficult, but I'm pretty sure every single one of you are capable enough to actually learn about these vehicles. Add these tools. Right. Good. So, besides all this working y'all have been doing, how's the scouting going? Great, love to hear it. Any more, uh, new people coming in, or no? Fantastic. That was sarcastic. You brought zero people, zero men into my facility for training and whatnot today. Of course I'm being sarcastic. You really think I would give you praise just to have you do nothing? Look, all I'm trying to do is raise an army, because we need an army for whatever is out there. We have no idea who is on their side, so we have to be ready. You all are going to be fighting in this war, not just me. And we need backup, and that's why we have these camps out here, so we can hire new recruits. Without you all slacking off and making sure not a single one of them would actually go away from our teachings. Instead, I have a few people who don't know what to do, and are just digging holes. This was my old team. We'd have an army by now. Whatever. Look, all I'm trying to tell you guys to do is be better. I don't want to see every single one of you die out there. I've seen too many lives lost because of these creatures, these titans. I don't want to see another person get eaten or torn apart. That's why I am so strict with all of you. You have to understand. This fight is not an easy one. It will take all of us to fight through it. 
and be victorious. You're lucky that I give you water and shelter. The last time I was on mission, we had to sleep in tents throughout the cold winter. We basically lost two of our people to frostbite and hypothermia. Luckily, the rest of us knew what to do in those type of situations. You. If you're dying of hypothermia, what do you do if you're just sleeping in a tent by yourself? All you have is a water container and a Coleman. What do you do? Wrong. You. Tell me, what would you do in that situation? Correct. You boil the water out of its freezing container, put the water back in the container, and then put it in your jacket. That will keep you warm enough throughout the night, and then you can wake up and redo it again. I like this one. Do you all understand now? Being out here is not just for killing titans. It's for our basic survival. And you will treat it like it's your last day every single day. Do I make myself clear? Good. Now all of you, drink your water. You're still doing these diggings. And we're also still hiring. You're not stopping until day ends. Do I have your attention? Listen closely. We are hiring people here as an army. But there are people here who are spies and whatnot. In short, I made a little pamphlet here of questions you can ask these people before hiring them. I want you to read this pamphlet, every single one of you, so y'all don't mess up on our schedulings. I'm going to keep a sharp eye on you and making sure that you ask these questions to every single person that you bring here. I do not w want any more mistakes. Do I make myself clear? You. Come here. You are the only one to answer correctly on that question. Follow me. What's your name, cadet? Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. But for right now, I'm just going to call you cadet. Because that's what I call every single one of you here. I don't treat you with respect until it's earned. You've earned my respect with answering that simple survival question. You know a few things about survival. Where were you before this? A farmsman. Interesting. Were you taking care of anybody? Your mother. I see. So, was it your mother's farm, then, that you took over for her sake keeps? Making sure nothing went bad. Good thing your brother is looking after them. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you because you took the initiative of becoming one of the corp. 
and making sure that our people can see another day. I'm glad that you made a sacrifice to make sure that your mother will be okay as well. That takes real guts. And I'm looking for that through people. You're a great person. Now, you should probably get back with your fleet. I have a few things I have to do myself. Hey. Don't call me Captain. It's Levi, sir. Alright, get going. <laughs>